uh, Tar Heel State and get a win. So after that, d led I'll take it over to you. Uh, yes, Coach, uh, could you discuss the uh, play of the run defense and the turnovers you all got today? Yeah, I thought you, uh, what you saw out there is the guys that made a commitment to shut the run down. I thought we were very physical on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Defense did a nice job getting three takeaways. I thought we played pretty decent complimentary football. And, and, and we were able to run the ball. I believe it was our third uh, straight 100-yard rushing game. And if we're going to be a physical team and you want to win in December, you're going to have to bring your run game with you. And I thought we did that today. And then just the fight of the running backs, uh, from Cordell to Mike to uh, Quad. Yes. How did they play today? I thought they played uh, pretty well, D-Led. They all, they, they all run extremely hard. I think you're seeing the run game. Guys are in sync. Uh, it's not perfect. There's always things we got to work on. Um, but yeah, I, I really believe in those three three backs. I thought they did a nice job today. What did you tell the team now that you're six and seven and you know playing uh, you know like you said meaningful games here in December? Told them we're, you know uh, proud of them. Like I always am to coach this team. It's a great group of guys in there. They work extremely hard. They, they fight. Uh, there's, it's an unselfish group, d led so I'm always remind them and mindful of how proud I am to be their coach. Uh, and then, you know, task at hand. we got to get back to work tomorrow. We've got a big game next weekend. Where do you, where do you feel like the team has taken the biggest well, I think it's the whole team. I mean, you, you know, you come in here, there's a lot of turnover, you, you know, new staff, uh, a lot of new faces. And the whole goal, I've been saying to you guys, you know, I sound like a broken record, but you got to improve as the season goes on, Michael, and I think we're improving. Well, it's just a belief we have. If we can keep better, and again, it's not perfect. We got plenty of stuff we'll have to clean up, and that's that's our job. Um, but certainly, it helps to be able to have that mindset. It's a tough-minded group, tough-minded group that will go over here. You know, they send us to London, like I said earlier. Wherever we got to go play, um, we'll be ready to go. Sure. Yeah, well, all three of them ran well. Um, you know, we, we try to spread out some of the carries. I mean, we ask a lot of CP. And he does a good job. He's also not he's not superhuman either, and we got a belief in Mike Davis and, and Quadri. I mean, you saw those guys all run well, and when you can do that by committee, it helps. So I trust all, all those guys. Like I said, I still, I mean, it's, I don't get in a panic. It wasn't, you know, on purpose what, what happened with Q. Give him the ball again next weekend because I believe in that guy. And it, you know, you learn from your mistakes, and we got to rally and, and handle sudden change better. You don't want it to happen, but it's all of a sudden I'm going to sit there and say he can't go back out there. That's not it at all. I believe in Q. Do you feel like Smith was motivated given he had played here before? Who's that? The Davis um, I, I think if you've got to have, we got the right guys. We don't have to motivate the, you know, if you got to sit there and, and find, you know, corny things to try to motivate guys, you got the wrong guys. We got the right guys in there. Again, like always, I know you guys have to ask Michael D-Led. I'm not the doctor. Didn't go to medical school. Um, so we'll just continue to evaluate, let the doctors do their job, and we'll see them tomorrow and as the week goes on. So it's hard to give you an update right now because I don't know. Talk about the physicality of the line of scrimmage. And I was just kind of curious in what ways did you really see that physicality? Saw the line moved. Line of scrimmage moves. You can see it with your own eyes. Um, that's a good defense. It's a physical, a physical game. I thought our guys stepped up. Feel as though that's the identity you want this, this Absolutely. Absolutely. The fact that this defense is starting to get contributions from the fact that defense is starting contributions from guys who maybe aren't going to the stars of the defense or the main elite level guys, like what stars. What like like guys like Michael Walker, guys that aren't playing. There's a lot of good players. I, I never called somebody a star or somebody. Yeah, I know you guys want to put labels on guys. We got guys that improve. We got young guys. I, I've never called anybody a star. We got a lot of good players. Well, I think it, what, what helps is when you have a plan. When we Terry and I got here, and as we're trying to develop, and there's a constant evolution. You continue to develop guys. The staff's done a great job. The players work really hard at it. Go back to our preseason strategy. It's why you continue to develop. That's part of your job description. Develop and coach. Our staff's done a good job, and the players have. And so you're going to need everybody. It, it happens. It's a long season. you got 17 games. And you, you better make sure you're constantly developing your, your entire roster. Arthur, when's the loss decide to get such a good couple of guys in performances this year? Is that sort of what you wanted this year in the first year to establish? You want to respond. I mean, you don't want momentum. I mean, it, tells, it kind of tells you what you're about. If you sit there and 
it's not going to be perfect. I look at them as obstacles. I think if you're kind of weak-minded or fixed-minded, you're going to say it's a disaster, catastrophe. We never looked like that. You don't want things to happen. They're obstacles. Continue to work and improve. Like I said, this, this business isn't for soft souls, Jeff. So uh, it's a National Football League. Every win's hard. And uh, proud of our guys. The, uh, the pick six is become part of your game plan almost now the last couple of weeks. Well, describe we'll take them. Describe what went into today's play uh, uh, from the, the pressure to the Sure. I, so you got to, again, it's, it's constant improvement. Uh, you know, I, Dean's had even scratched the surface, and that has an evolution of how much we're going to put in. And eventually, and, and I think you can see guys, and it, it takes all 11. I mean, sometimes, too, you wouldn't know unless you're in the meeting rooms or see the call, a little a guy out of place here and there when you drop, maybe you have a simulator pressure, and, and your hook defender, if he's too wide, you know, he may give up something, open the middle. You got to have all 11 on the same page. And when you do that, you got coordinated rush games, when you got quarterback that can. I can obviously extend plays. It works, and uh, but it takes a commitment by all eleven. So there's a lot of unsung heroes. You know, you want to you want to continue to show that. You may see the guy, one guy, get the sack, but if one guy doesn't take two, or he doesn't sit there and set the game up, the sack may never happen. The same thing that, that you know, he may throw you one because of the internal pressure in the pocket. So it's playing together. It's everybody doing their job, uh, focusing on the details, and so it's a credit to the entire defense. I'm also the head coach, so I got to I got to make sure I'm evaluating Josh the entire every phase. So as, yeah. As you're going against them day to day, do you notice well, that as a more difficult challenge as the season goes on? No, it's not a more difficult challenge. It's part of our job. Like, there's trust me, there's enough time in the day. We got a great staff, and that's our that's our charge is to get better every every day. I think that's kind of stating the obvious there, of knowing what's going on, and uh, those guys continue to improve, and that's all we're trying to do. Thank you.